Hello everybody, my name is Kyle and I'm the marketing director here at Alter. And today I'm here to talk to you about the RFS and the RFS Plus. First thing you need to know about the RFS is what it stands for. RFS stands for Rapid Filter System, and that's exactly what it is. A hinged filter adapter designed for speed and convenience, allowing you to take your filter off and put it back on in a second. To better understand how this device works, let's go ahead and look at the device by itself. The RFS and the RFS Plus were designed in a three ring design. We have the lens mounting ring the sliding ring, and the filter ring. To understand how these three rings work together, we're gonna to go ahead and install it onto a lens. The first thing we're gonna do is open up the unit and make sure that the lens mounting ring is inside the sliding ring. From here, we're gonna take our device and place it onto the front of the lens, and then we're gonna open the filtering all the way just to keep the device secure. From here, we're going to take our thumbs and we're going to turn the lens mounting ring in a counterclockwise direction just until the threads snap into place. There we go. From here, we're going to turn the lens mounting ring in a clockwise direction with our thumbs, just like we would a filter. Once we start to feel a little bit of resistance, this is where we get to choose where we want our hinge. The safest and recommended position for the hinge is on the top. This allows access for the focus and zoom rings and keeps your filter in a safe position. However, if you have a flash or a mic, you're going to want to turn the unit to the side and have the hinge off to the side, allowing you room up top and still having access to the focal and zoom rings. For the purpose of this demonstration, we're just going to install the unit at the top of the lens. Once we've chosen our hinge orientation, we're gonna go ahead and close the filter ring, and then we're going to tighten down the rest of the device, holding the hinge in place with your finger. From here, we're going to take our filter and install it to the filter ring, just like we would to the front of the lens. And that's it. Now we have an installed device. Now let's go through some of the features and specs of the RFS and the RFS Plus. First off, it has a 270 degree hinge orientation, allowing the filter to be stowed safely out of the way when not in use and handy when you wanna place it back. It has a friction hinge, keeping the front ring stable and secure while in use. When it's closed, the RFS and the RFS Plus feature a light skirt, preventing any light leaks under extreme circumstances, allowing you to shoot long exposure photography. It has six high-grade magnets, keeping the device closed when not in use. And lastly, the device was built out of aerospace aluminum and finished with a matte black anodize, giving you uncompared strength and stability. Now you know a lot about the RFS and the RFS Plus, but what's the difference between the two? The main difference between these two devices lie in the relationship of the size between the lens mounting ring and the filter ring. Let's take this for example. This is an RFS 72. It's a single size. It features a 72 millimeter lens mounting ring and a 72 millimeter filter. It's a fixed size ratio. This works for most lenses and focal lengths. However, it will start to vignette on wide angle lenses. That is why we invented the RFS Plus. The RFS Plus is basically the same exact thing as the RFS except it features an integrated step up. Take this for example. This is an RFS Plus 67 to 77. It features a 67 millimeter lens mounting ring and then a 77 millimeter filter ring, allowing for a larger filter on the smaller lens. This system effectively eliminates vignetting on wide angle lenses. Now we make the RFS and the RFS Plus in most sizes and step up ranges. However, there are a few sizes and step up ranges that we currently do not manufacture. 
If you're looking to get around an RFS Plus size that we have not manufactured, there's still a way, and that's through the use of step-up rings. Let's say, for instance, you have a 58 millimeter lens, and you're looking to step up to a 77 millimeter filter with an RFS Plus 58 to 77. It's currently a size we do not carry. We recommend you grab a 58 to 77 millimeter step-up ring and an RFS 77, which will be the same size as the filter you're trying to attach to your lens. Take your step-up ring and install it to the front of your lens. Once it's installed, you can take your RFS and install it to the step-up ring, just like you would to the front of the lens. Once you have the RFS installed onto the step-up ring, close the filter ring and attach your larger filter to the RFS. This system effectively creates an RFS Plus. The only downside is that it does not have the same vignette performance. Now, as we continue to grow as a company, our goal is to provide all RFS and RFS Plus sizes. But until that point, this is an awesome way to get around some of our discontinued sizes. That's it, everybody. If you have any questions about the RFS or the RFS Plus, be sure to reach out to an altered team member. Thanks for watching.